So it's not far down these little canals that you'll actually not know you're in the middle of Bangkok. Uh, we're just going away from the road noise now. And you hit a surprising amount of greenery and wildlife, loads of lizards, water monitors, the occasional snake, some ladders, not many. And very peaceful. This, this area is a predominantly Muslim area and they don't like dags, so there's not many dags that are going to chase you and bite you. Lots of cats and pretty much the whole clong path is like that. Uh, the, the Muslim communities tend to be next to the clongs. So there's only one area as we get towards the uh, the end of this path there's a the rubbish disposal area at Prawait and there's four or five dogs that hang around by the office well let's mess that one up we're ripping out the footpath so we'll just go around as it says and we've got fishing ponds and little farms and small holdings. I'll just flip this around for you. So we've done a few runs around here, down the side of the little lakes. So we're feeding of the fish. That's some luxury accommodation down the side. These tend to be the people that uh, do a lot of the rubbish recycling and obviously from fairly new pickups parked up there it's not all doom and gloom you save the money on renting houses buy yourself a car apparently so we got a bit smelly but never mind so what the refuse collectors work for the local government they only get paid a basic wage but they do recycle absolutely everything and they once they finish the rounds for the day they'll go off and sell it uh, i'll flip you around so that's all the recycle stuff um, they will pull up at the recycling shops that uh, surround this place there's one of the dags and sell it before it actually gets to the depot where what le what's left gets recycled uh, what most people do is separate it for them so you've got separate bags of glass and plastic and the guys appreciate it and if you've ever got a little bit too much rubbish they don't complain about taking it away on the other hand if you just lump it all together and don't do anything for them they won't take any extra and they'll, they'll make you contact the local government offices to, for a special trip which you've got to pay for so it's all back scratching and room do I chew again or joining together and helping so this thing's only just recently been built it's uh, garbage sorting place has only just been built within the last two or three years it's only really come onto line in this last year or two we're capable of processing 800 tons of rubbish a day and uh, it gets uh, farmed out to a different place I don't know where it goes but it gives big truckloads taking the sorted stuff out the bio waste is burnt, incinerated on site, and the recycled stuff, stuff is sold on, probably to the same place that the guys take it before they dump the rubbish. So, all excitement here. This, this canal was actually full of rubbish, and they've 
dug it out and concreted the bottom and promptly let it fill back up with shite which they're uh, getting rid of we've been doing this for the last week or two so normally I don't come through here it's uh, there's dogs bags and it's a bit smelly if you stay on the clong path while it's when it's open and it will, I think it will be open soon you miss out all this and you don't see any of it you can actually do nearly a full 10k loop on the Cologne path, which is good. So this guy's obviously done something wrong. It reminds me of being back in the army in basic training and given, being given a toothbrush to go and rush the drill square. He's obviously a bad boy. Another reason not to come here, as I said, is a, a multitude of dogs everywhere. I think they spilt a bit there. Now, if you ever wonder where all these trees and bits and pieces that get cut off flower beds go they all come to here which is a basically a composting factory it gets mulched they add the uh, appropriate nutrients and bacteria and whatever else is in there and uh, it gets turned into compost it's presumably sold I dare say if you rolled up with a pickup you'd be able to buy some. You can see a rather large field of composted wood chippings and bits and pieces. Lovely sweet smell from it. Another good thing in Bangkok is just occasionally look down because the covers come off a manhole sometimes and don't go back on again. Right, wrong man, gam jat, kai man, le, bre ru, kai man, onut, which basically means a factory that will destroy fat and change fat in on a I struggle reading some words especially when the, like the proper titles for things so there we go reading wrong an gamjat sing patikun I think that's right sing patikun from memory, shit, it's where the sewage things go to be emptied and anything that's rotten and what we would call sewage, that's where it goes, that's where the shit carts go. Don't follow on there and think it's a wedding. That's your problem with the clung path. Interestingly, dead python or a very very sick one anyway so you can't say that politicians lie they said that they were going to upgrade the canal paths to a whole new level and they're doing that just not what people thought Through the hole in the wall. You have been.
the uh, clone contractors installing the footpath.